Hey guys, how are you going? Right, welcome to another episode. It's finally sunny. It rained all week this week, so I finally got a bit of a sun, sunny day. It's sort of not bad. Rightio, we're not going to work on the caravan, but I am going to make a roadside aid. So just in case we break down on the caravan on our trips, I'm going to sort of plan ahead. So I'm going to make a, like an emergency light with a beacon and work lights and char cigarette lighter and a USB charger. You might want to go to the beach and take this with you to the beach. You can charge your phone. So we're just going to make an emergency roadside light slash beacon slash charger. And we're going to use my AEG battery um, batteries. You can buy adapters for every single tool thing now, like a battery tool, battery drills. So anyway, let's have a look at the bits and then we'll get into the project. Alright, so I've got myself some work lights. So they're the work lights. I didn't want anything big and bulky. So they're nice flat ones. They're like 48 watts. 48 watts in um, LEDs are really good. And you really want the LEDs, see how they show a little bit of yellow? You can The yellow in the center really reflects around the circles. They're the best LEDs to get. So you'll see a lot of them on spotlights on cars, like four-wheel drives and that. And they got that yellow tinge to them. They're the best ones because they reflect the core, cob core, really well. So this is actually really bright for what it, it looks really cheap and nasty. But that's the reflector. It's all about the reflector in the LED. You don't want ones that just show an LED and it's, there's no reflector where you see that yellow. See that yellow? So anyway, there's those. They're like 80 mil square. So I've got four of them, but I think we'll only use three. Right, that is my AEG. All my tools, if you've seen, um, you've seen my uh, channel. Um... They're my AEG batteries, and that just slides straight in there. Done. That's in. Power adapter. So we're going to screw that to the box. We're going to use this control panel for the three work lights. We've got an emergency beacon. So you'll see all this later on when it's all working. So I'll show you that. Um, and these are the red. I've got red, yellow, and green. And three of those switches to suit for that beacon. So there you go. Right, and this is our box. We're going to use this. Right, yeah, so stay tuned. Um, I'm just going to make a few bits for the box, like um, an undercover. I'm going to cut a few wooden bits for it. Um, I might even paint it black before we get going. And that way I can just start putting it all together. So hopefully you like this one. It's a pretty good idea. It's actually cost me... I think that's cost me um, all those bits there, the lights and all that. You're probably looking at 150 bucks on um, AliExpress. I got these in town. Those Nava light switches, um, indicator switches in town. They were like, you can see the price, eight bucks or whatever they were. Right out, let's get in the project. I'm going to go make some a cover for here and a top for there. Paint it black and then we'll start. Well, we'll start putting this together. I'm looking a little bit of a fun project today, so I'm pretty happy with this one. All right, I've drilled, I've cut that out. We're going to cut that out with the jigsaw. We're going to cut that out with jigsaw. So here is my new AEG jigsaw. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's a brushless one. And I think what we'll do is we'll go. These are all my um, jigsaw blades. So that's how I keep my jigsaw blades. Then you can just roll it up. So we're going to go a fine. We're going to go a fine one, I reckon. So it's basic wood. So it's basic wood fine. We'll use that. Put that down there. Good thing about this one is, you flip that over, there's no tools needed. You just have to make sure, put that down in there, in the roller. And that's it, good to go. So this has, I don't know if you want to care about this or not, but anyway, four settings, and it does that as well. So I'll cut this out first. Just 
move you over there for a second. with that uh, jigsaw that's nice so we get some sandpaper and that is for the beacon part of it so we'll cut this bit out here So we've got that in there. So now we'll mark this hole. Right, here's our little beacon. So I'm just gonna mark that around there. So our centers. There's our centre roughly there. One there. One there. So we'll drill those holes. So that technically should fit in there now. There we go. And then that should fit on top. Perfect. Right. So I'm just going to go drill the holes out properly for here. And then um, I think we'll paint that. I want to paint that black. I think we'll keep it that colour. And then um, we'll start putting it together. All right, so what I've done is I've unscrewed that. We're going to drill a hole so we can get this fuse in there. So it's going to be a bit tricky. Got that out. 
Right, so we're just going to mark where it goes. We're going to put it on the back here. Put those screws there. I'm just going to put that there like that. Just got a pair of um, snips and got that out like that. Just going to quickly put that back the way that is. Like that. All right. So just going to put those little screws back in there. What's that little black screw now? There it is. Found it. Oop. So I'll feed that through. And then hopefully we can get a screw started on there. We'll get one of these in first. There we go. Hopefully you can see. There's one. Just gonna make sure I get that one in straight. All right, guys, this is how what I've got done so far. I'm gonna start putting it all together now. So we've got that control panel there. We've got the battery adapter on. I'm about to just bolt these on for the work lights. So I'm gonna go inside and do all that. And I vinyl wrapped that. I didn't like the paint. The paint didn't really dry that well. So I vinyl wrapped it. So just give it a bit of a waterproof sort of look. Um, and around this side, we've got a USB, USB uh, 12 volt cigarette light. Alrighty. Eh? Just let me, um, I'm just going to pull this together and then should, hopefully we'll see it working. All right, I'm inside. Um, this is how far we've got so far. So I've got a common red and a common uh, black rail. Easy to join to, and I'll screw that to the top. So they're the, they're the wires for the work lights. So I'm in the process of doing that right now. All righty, we have got it done. I've actually finished, I finished wiring it up, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a spin. So we got USB there, voltage, these are the three work lights, green for the beacon, orange, red. So let's turn it around this way. And then we've got cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter there. Sorry if my hand's in the way. And another USB. So I'm just going to set you up. Sorry for the mess, ignore the mess, I've just finished wiring it up. Right. Get you over this side. So you don't get any glare. Alrighty, so well, it's just a simple matter of sliding that in. Done. It's on. 
So you can see this one explains here. You can actually set these up if you want to go like that. You can set them up like that together, or if you want to set them up, so you know the three all in one hit, or you can just set them up that way like that. So I'll just do that. There you go, and the USB lights up. Cigarette lighter. So we'll actually test out that. So I'll just put that in. Here is the plug for here. This is all off the battery. There we go, we're charging. So there you go. Take that out. I've actually got the fan. There's a cigarette lighter for the fan. I'm just going to plug that in. And then I'll turn that on. There's got a switch on here. So there you go. That's running Spanner gone. Righty, -o. let's turn these lights on. Turn it around this way. This is one light. Oh, look at that. That's going to be great. There you go. And then what we'll do for this one here, you flick them up, their down is off, but this one's got like a up and a, and a down. So you flick that on and we've got uh, green. And then we've got orange, orange indicator. And then we've got red. What a uh, good little thing with this one, you put the red on and the green and you get white. So there's white, there's orange or amber. And if you go down, it does a buzzer. I'm not going to have this on very long. So that's if you're in a panic mode, um, you know, if, if you've got animals or something's going to annoy you, you can... Turn that on and that will get rid of them, I reckon. So, and we'll just test out this USB as well. Is that going to come on? There you go. Comes on. So there you go. I really like that. And I didn't put a battery level indicator on there because it's got it already on the battery. So... I think that'll be a really handy thing, so. Um, and then I'm going to have the AEG battery charger in the caravan as well. And this is probably a really good thing. I really built it so this, the main design was um, you could put all your all your lights on and, and then have that to the traffic, oncoming traffic, so they can see. Um, it probably might reflect back on there. They can see there's a flashing light or maybe a lot of people look at amber on the road. Um, I don't think you'd use a green one, but it's there. Amber. Um, I didn't do that before. So you've got amber and or a red, which is more of a darker orange. Um, so while you're working on your, changing your spare wheel or whatever you're doing, um, Looking under the caravan, the good thing about these, you can tilt them right up and get it right up in there. And um, and that's like a warning for oncoming traffic. So there you go. Or you can take this to the beach. Take it to the beach and simply charge your phone. Well, if it's getting dark, it's getting dark. Um, it's getting dark. You might and you want to finish cooking your caravans. You know, yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Um, I think that'd be very handy. So it's just that simple as that.
So there you go, there's a little project for today. I didn't have to worry about the caravan, but I thought that would be really handy. If you want to plug in um, cigarette lighter things, you can. But um, I don't think that back the indicator. Take a long time for that to drain. It's all LEDs. LEDs don't really drain much. So there you go, there's my emergency, my emergency lighting pack. Hope you like that, guys. Actually, really, really like that. It's charging and everything. So there you go. Very happy. Catch you guys. See you next time.